Hello and welcome to another Q-tip. My name is Thomas Kvarnström and today I'm going to show you how you can build and deploy a native Quarkus application on OpenShift using the source to image format. As input to this build we're going to use this um, this, may, this GitHub repository which contains a simple uh, Quarkus application that exposes a couple of REST endpoints and the um, and we're going to use that to build our application today. So the first command would be to create an application, but I actually pre-baked a version uh, of this in here in the DMOS 2i native. So to show you how I've done that, I'm going to go back and create a new project. And we're going to call this new demo S2i. After I created the project, I'm ready to create my application with a new with OC new app. And here I'm going to specify the Quarkus native S2i image. It's part of the Quarkus project. And I'm going to point to the GitHub repository that we're looking at. When I run this command, it's going to create not only application, but a service and build config, etc. for me. One issue we might have is that our OpenShift environment might be constrained in the terms of resources that are available for us for during a build. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cancel that build. And then after we cancel the build, we go and we patch the build config to update the resources that it can use so we can deploy a bit quicker when we run this. After that, we're ready to start to build again. So now while we're waiting for the application to start, we can also right now expose, expose the application to incoming traffic from outside of the cluster. If we now go back to the OpenShift console, we can see that our build is currently executing and are currently doing the Maven part of the build. And after that, it will also do the automatically do the conversion conversion into a native a native application. If we go to our pre-baked version, we can see this in action, and we can see that it takes approximately thirty megabytes of memory, and we can. Also verify that this is running as a native application by going into the terminal of the pod and list the processes. And we can see that we have home Quarkus application as one of the running applications. No Java processes. By clicking on the route, we can also see the application in action. And this is the welcome page. And it has three different endpoints. One JSON B endpoint one text endpoint, and the last one is a health check endpoint. One thing to notice, however, is that the size of the image is pretty big. And that's because the container is that's also building our source code has to contain all the build dependencies, like in this case, OpenGDK, GraalVM, Maven, etc. So the end image is 510 megabytes. And in the next Q-tip, we're going to look into how you can lower that into a minimal image that is approximately 40 megabytes in size instead. Thank you for watching.